Hello. I'm Katherine Reyes. I'm a deaf and hard of hearing teacher and I work at the high school. It's called Rodriguez High School. We have this deaf and hard of hearing classroom where we provide access to language successfully and it transitions them better for the, the general mainstream courses. I include the deaf culture, my own personal experience, my life lessons, and so I try to build their confidence, their pride in being a deaf person. And how I can do that is by telling them my life experiences and maybe they can see the connection. Catherine Reyes lost her hearing at the age of four after contracting bacterial meningitis. She got a cochlear implant in third grade, but school continued to be a challenge. I did not have an interpreter uh, because I was supposed to be using my listening skills from the cochlear implant to communicate with my teachers and my classmates. Unfortunately, it was not a good experience for me. It wasn't until ninth grade when Catherine finally had access to an interpreter. And that interpreter came into my math class, and when she came in, it completely changed my world. Whatever classwork that we were doing, that interpreter would tutor me on, on those signs and the language needed to understand that class. And it really helped me remember that that if you have access, it worked. Then I, I was actually learning something. Catherine went on to graduate from UC Berkeley. She's now a leader in the deaf and hard of hearing program at the Solano County Office of Education. In 2020, she earned their Teacher of the Year Award. My goal for this classroom is to get you to college, is to develop that academic language so that you can access the knowledge. You just have to show up to class and do your best. We provide the interpreters, we provide the access. Because if you have access to language, then that means you're gonna acquire the education. You'll be successful, just like the hearing students out there. She says having access to language means learning American Sign Language at an early age. We see students who are nine, 10, even up to 16 years old who cannot read. They can't do simple addition or subtraction because they didn't get access at an early age. Many of my students become college students because they have language. Language is what's important. Catherine says she still faces barriers every single day, but she's motivated to improve education for students who are deaf or hard of hearing. I think a beautiful goal for the future of deaf education, specifically with our program, but really any program across the United States, is to have a program that focuses on specifically deaf needs. My hope is that we can develop our program to focus and hire teachers who are trained to work with the deaf students from birth all the way up to young adults that we can identify what works specifically for deaf children and their needs.